Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. Over the past few weeks I've had a lot of inquiries from customers on how to create a map view visualization or how to just create visualizations in the, with the BNR hardware. What we're going to do is we're going to use the same compact desk that we've used in all of our previous tutorials and we're actually going to create a map view visualization. The map view visual, visualization utilizes the HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript technology that web developers use this day and age. It makes your screens look very modern and you can even put them on, on tablets or phones like this that I've got right here. We're going to actually create a very simplistic HMI that looks exactly like the one that I'm showing here on my phone. It's actually running on the compact desk. So let's dig into it, and this is going to be really great. All right, guys, here we are. What we are going to create is we're going to create a simple map view visualization like this one that I'm showing right here. It's basically going to have two buttons, page one and page two. And when you click on page one, it will take you to this speed page with a speedometer. And when I click on page two, it will take us to this temperature page, and it will display a temperature. So let's hop into it. Let's go and open up our Automation Studio and let's create a new project. Go and click on an empty project and let's name this My First Map View. And just save it to somewhere where you're going to remember. Make sure you have this so it's checked because we're going to actually be putting this onto an X20 CPU. So go ahead and click Next. Then the con controller that we're going to use is the X20. X20CP0484. It's the one that we've been using all along. So go ahead and click next and then let's actually search for that controller. X20CP0484. And then just double click on it or just click on it and click next. And then we have the, B, the X20BB52 as our bus base and we go, can go ahead and click finish. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're in the logical view and we're highlighted over my first map view project name. And then over here in the search in the toolbox, go ahead and click on map view. Whoops, right there under the visualization. So click on map view and then just double click map view. Notice it gets added in right down over here in our, struct, our file tree right here. The next thing we want to add is make sure you're highlighted over the map view file and then we want to click on this visualization. So go ahead and just double click on that. All right, so this is where we're going to actually create our visualizations here. So then the first thing we want to do is we want to create the layout of what this is going to be. So in order to do that, we want to highlight over layout and then we want to come back over to the toolbox and just go ahead and double click on layout right up here. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and just double click it and it's gonna open this up. And this is the actual XML file that it's gonna be taking a look at. Now what I wanna show you is, we went to the help file, I'm gonna copy something from the help file and just enter it in right here. So if you look under the help file, you go to visualization, click on map view, then you go to guides, and then you go to designing a page what we want to do is we want to go right here and click on the creating the layout. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this and I'll explain what this is after we do that. So just go ahead and hold the left left mouse button over it, highlight it, and then just hit control C and then go back to our automation studio project and let's just hit control V for paste. So what we're saying here is uh, we are creating uh, a layout ID, so this is important. We're going to have this layout ID is going to be called layout 01. The height of it is going to be 600 pixels high, and the width is going to be 800 pixels wide. Then we're going to have two areas. As you recall, we got the main area, and then we've got the navigation area. And so you'll see right here, you've got area main, and we're defining what those pixels are for this one. We're saying it's going to be 600 pixels high, and it's only going to be 700 pixels wide. It's going to be 100 pixels less than the 800. And then that's going to be all the way to the left. And then we're going to have an area navigation. That's going to be the same height, 600 pixels high. And it's only, only going to be 100 pixels wide. And then it's going to be moved to the left. It's going to start at uh, the 700 pixels. So that's going to make up that last 800 right there. So that's how we go ahead and do that. Go ahead and hit save. And then the next thing we want to do is open up pages. We have to add a few pages here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here 
and you'll see that page is highlighted right over here in the toolbox. Go ahead and double click it. And then we can rename this. We're going to call this, rename this page one. And then go ahead and click enter. And then let's add another page. Oops, let's undo that. Cancel close. We're going to go ahead and just make sure we're highlighted over pages. And we're going to do another page, add that one. And we're going to name this page two. So rename page two. All right. So the next thing, I accidentally did this already. I'm going to delete this right here, is we want to add a content area. So what we want to do is we want to highlight over area contents first. And then what we want to do is we want to add a content area from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to click on page content. So go ahead and double click on that. And then we're going to rename this navigation. So go ahead and hit rename. And we'll call it navigation. And then hit enter. And that changes that to a navigation.content file. Same thing applies down here. We're going to go ahead and highlight over page one. And we're going to do double click on page content. And we're going to rename this one page one content. And then that creates a file page one content dot content. And then let's do the same thing for page two. We're going to go ahead and highlight over page two and then double click on page content. And then let's rename this page two content. Page two content. All right, that's all I want to show you for this week. Next week, we're going to actually add the widgets that we're going to have. And the widgets are, as I can show you, it's going to be the labels, it's going to be the temperatures, it's going to, or the, the, these little things right here. And we're going to add that. That's what we'll show you next week. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this week. Next week, we're going to talk about how we would add the widgets, which is like the little readouts and stuff like that, the buttons and everything into our map view visualization. So hopefully you'll, you enjoyed this week and I hope you tune in next week. And if you like these videos, feel free to go ahead and hit subscribe. There's lots of other great content related to this type of technology that I talk about in those videos. Have a great weekend and please stay safe.